Hello everybody and welcome back to my discord.py bot tutorial series um, where I go over a bunch of different commands and functionalities that you can create inside of discord inside of Python using discord.py um, to create a full featured bot um, and yeah we're gonna go over some of those features in this series today we're gonna be going over just a simple math command um, or a calculate command just some type of command that um, players can run to calculate any expression given to it um, no matter how long it is or how complicated it is as long as it doesn't include like um, like factoring or like finding values like you can't put an X in there just as long as it's all numerical then um, then yeah you should be able to put that into expression into the expression and it will solve it automatically for you um, so yeah I hope you guys are having a good day and let's dive right into the command so heading over to Replit, let's go ahead and create a new command using at client.command and then let's create some aliases for it. So, um, well, before we do that, let's, whoops, let's create the name of the command. So async def math, we just call it math. Um, and then I'll make the aliases. You'll see what I'll make the aliases. Uh, first, let's just finish this off so we don't have a red line. Okay, so the aliases, um, whatever you want, obviously, but I'm gonna do uh, calculate uh, if you don't know what the aliases are, I covered it in the last video, I believe. Yeah, wait. No, two videos ago, I covered it. Um, basically, you can run the exact same command. So, I'll be able to run math and calculate. Um, and that'll run the exact same code that's below it if I call that command. So, calculate and math will run the same exact thing. So, calculate math. Um, calculator, I guess. Calculator. That's fine. You can add more aliases if you like. So, um, and then we want to take in CTX. We always take in CTX context. And then we also want to take in the expression expression, um, which is what the user is going to input. And then we're going to evaluate it from there. So what we're going to do is we're going to say calculated is equal to eval of expression. If you don't know what eval is, it's it stands for evaluate. Um, or evaluation, whatever, and pretty much it's a built in Python function that evaluates any expression for you. Um, so let me go ahead and show you that and then await ctx.send calculated. So now that's literally our entire math command. Um, don't worry, it'll I'll add a lot more things to this, it won't just be this, but that's really if you want to stop here, that's all you can um, have to write, really. So math six plus six, 12. Math 500 divided by 2 plus 5 minus 2, 253.0. Um, and it, it automatically does the conversion to floats or um, floats, integers, all different stuff. It automatically does that by itself. Um, so, yeah, it'll evaluate any expression you, you enter, um, which means if I were to do something like math um, print high, I want to go ahead and show you something real quick you'll see that obviously it doesn't print out the answer because um, there's nothing to really evaluate. But if you actually go back into your console, you'll see it actually printed out high. So what this means is the evaluate function evaluates anything given to it, not just math expressions. Um, so it can actually run code for you, which is really bad because you don't want your users to be able to have access to that and then run like something malicious through your code. You don't want users to be able to run, run code is, is the bottom line. Um, so we need to make a way to check if the uh, to check if the expression given to the bot is an actual expression, like a math expression, and it's not code. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to create a new uh, variable called symbols, and then we're going to include all of the symbols that would be in a normal math problem. So addition, subtraction, uh, slash is used for division in Python. Um, the star or the asterisk is used for multiplication. And then just while we're here talking about it, um, the two stars is used for the powers. So like five to the power of two would be like that. Um, you have integer division, which is two slashes, uh, which pretty much just divides anything, but keeps it as an integer. It doesn't make it into a float. Um, I think, that, oh, and there's also mod. Let me add mod as well. Uh, mod is the, or it's like mod. No, it's, I think it's just called mod. It's there's there's a long name for it, but it's called mod. Um, it's the percent sign. Pretty much, it just gives you the remainder. So if you were to do five mod two, 
then that would give you an answer of one because five divided by two we know is two and there's one left over so two and a half and that one left over is would be your answer so um, these are all the symbols that are gonna be used in math equations so what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna forget about the sign for a second and we're gonna have to check if there's any of these symbols in their expression so I'm gonna type this code that says if any so this checks if it as you see right here it returns true if if bool of x is true for any of the iterables and um, a list is an iterable so we can use that so if any s in uh, expression for s in symbols um, if you don't understand this code don't worry I know it probably is very confusing to you um, I'll try to run through it really quick so pretty much like I explained any just checks for if any of these values are true then it returns true so if any s in expression so what it's doing is it's taking it's taking the string given to us from expression and it's checking all of the characters so if any of the characters and we're going to call it s s this could be anything this is not to be s you could call this um literally whatever you want but it doesn't matter because we won't even be using it it's just temporary um so if any s in expression and then we say for s and symbols so we're checking if any of these are in one of these values and symbols does that make sense so one of these symbols has to be in the expression passed by the user in order for us to run the code below again if you don't if you don't fully understand it not a huge deal just make sure you um understand that it works and uh i try to explain it if you don't understand it, it's not a huge deal but um let's go ahead and keep going so if any s an expression for s and symbols then we're going to calculate it so we say calculate it just like we did before eval expression and then um we can await ctx.sin calculated and then if you want you can make an else statement so just so we see it else so if none of the symbols are in the expression then what what we want to do is you just do await ctx.send this isn't a math problem problem and hopefully i haven't messed anything up but that should be working so if i do math 5 plus 5 we get 10 math 50 mod th 2 plus 4 4 but then if we do math hello this isn't a math problem because it didn't detect any of those characters in the list to be inside of expression so if i try again math print hi this isn't a math problem and so since we're triggering this else we're never evaluating it because it's only going to evaluate if this is true if that makes sense Hopefully that, that makes sense to you guys. Um, all right, so what else can we do? All right, so as much as this is functioning right now, let's go ahead and make it look a little better with the embeds. Like I said, all of my um, all of my commands will be outputted in embeds, or at least the majority of them. So let's go ahead and do that. So um, we can leave that there, and then we can say uh, embed equals discord dot embed. We say title is equal to math. Or, yeah math equation uh, the description is going to be equal to this we're gonna we're gonna first pass their expression that they gave to us so we're gonna say uh, we're gonna use these little markdown characters uh, expression and then we'll pass in make it an f string so we can pass in variables and let's put in expression and then we're gonna use uh, backslash in to go to the next line and then below that we're going to say uh, why is there a giant red line under this? Okay, there we go, it goes, went away. And then under this, we're going to say um, the answer. So we're gonna say answer. Oops, let's put that up one. Answer, and then we're gonna say calculated. And then we can go ahead and leave it there for now. Um, if you wanted more, that's fine. Um, or we'll add more in a second, you'll see that. And then, I don't know why that is underlined. We'll, we'll see in a second. Anyway, let's go ahead and put the color on it. So color is equal to discord.color.green. And then timestamp is equal to ctx.message.created at. If you don't know any of what I'm typing, this is all mentioned in the past couple of videos. Um, actually, let's not do this because it's hurting my eyes. But there we go. That's better. 
Um, so we've created the embed and let's go ahead and just make this in the embed instead. So embed equals embed. And let's see how that looks. Hopefully I didn't mess anything up. Dot math 50 divided by two. There we go. Math equation, or sorry, let's just say math expression. It's not an equation, it's an expression. Expression 50 divided by two, answer 25.0. So there we go. So I can format it a little better. So yeah, that was our math command. Um, I'm wearing something different because I had to leave and come back for something, but um, that was our math command. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, very simple command, but something that I think is very useful for any bot. Um, pretty pretty easy as well, since we're using the eval function that Python has already given us. We don't have to deal with all that ourselves. We definitely could make one where we deal with all the problems ourselves, and we'd have to split the um, split the expression on the certain symbols and then solve from there, but that would get very complicated very fast. This is the easiest full feature math um, command that you can make in Python, at least to my knowledge or to my ability. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I just one was a little shorter since just covering one little topic, but hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, I'll see you guys next time. Hope you had a good, hope you have a good rest of your day, guys. Peace out.